Um, right, so this is going to be the last presentation for today on a hands-on method um, for critical making. Uh, Sename is a trained um, architect, as far as I know, and is now currently setting up his third technology hub in Togo. <clears throat> And he uses these um, technology hubs as uh, radical devices to question um, modern human societies and how we how we understand them. So, twenty minute presentation. Then we will have a ten minute Q and A. Um, we would continue to like to hear from the audience uh, in our mirror board uh, what their questions might be for Sename. And um, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Hi. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation. I'm very happy to connect again with the, the gig community. And I apologize in advance for my English. <laughs> I would like to just to share with you some, some elements uh, of uh, some aspect of uh, a research I'm interested in right now. I would like, uh, I, I could not talk about everything, but it should be like just an introduction. But if I have some question, uh, some question, I can, I can develop. So um, uh, in the background of this project, there is the thesis that the computer age thereby puts our future under tension with an unprecedented total imperiality the danger of which is entered in its potential for accomplish a project of annihilation content of the reality. And it is a, a, a project uh, inherent in the capitalism. So there was incubated by the digital society a new alienating mode, a slight gestation at the heart of our technical age, thanks to the turn of general metropolization of the world, which uh, threatens the future completely renewing the springs and codes to which subjugation and spoliation had accustomed us towards their ancient form beyond time and space, slavery, serfdom, wage, labor, etc. A new situation of coloniality that I called Colonna to uh, distinguish, distinguish it from all the others. The most that this experience is carried forward, it is the very moral autonomy that will be subverted for an economic logic. Opinion itself is colonized in the circumstances of a distortion of reality of which we no longer experience a peasant, but organized with algorithm uh, 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 logic. Uh, could I share my, my screen? Is it possible? Thank you. I'll try that. Do you have it? Yes, perfect. Okay. So the, 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 this, the, the complete amalgamation of the machinic in the world and the algorithmization of bodies and thoughts is the movement of this new uh, uh, technological extremism. Uh, 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 and I would like to approach this question with the subject of the, the virus. Um, as you know, for a single Neuro neurosis center, an infection developed with such rapidity that every quickly, there was no, not a corner of the planet that was not contaminated by, with it. I'm talking about capitalism, of course, but we now know that it is also in the bed of violence made to the nature by the liberal metropolization and thanks to the leveling of communal system deemed unprofitable, and according to the Mercant circuits that viruses are formed and established. Both pandemics, uh, natural one and uh, socio-economic one with the capitalism, both pandemics also maintain an identity of methods through the inconstancy insinuated 
in the system, in all the, the organic uh, system of the nature or of the traditional social uh, 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 structure. But it is not all with the virus. Uh, uh, colonists, the, the virus uh, proposed itself almost more stimulating to think about uh, with the techno industrial uh, uh, um, techno industrial cyber uh, uh, system uh, uh, industry so what i would like to to say is that with this uh, situation we have now what we can observe is a three level of virus uh, surprisingly embedded you have this uh, 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 this perturbation in the natural structure, in the biospheric structure, who give virus uh, uh, pathology, uh, biological virus, but you have also a perturbation in our uh, structure, our social structure, with this uh, neoliberal uh, system, and a third uh, virus, uh, uh, which is what I called Colonna, to distinguish uh, uh, it for with all the, the, the older form of uh, spoliation or occupation uh, uh, we, 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 we are used to know. And this last uh, form of occupation have this, speci this specificity to, um, to, to be the, the occupation of the real, the, the reality itself. So there is, uh, 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 even if this, uh, uh, thing I'm talking about seems very, uh, 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 I don't know how you say, uh, inquietant in English. Uh, um, uh, there is also, it is also a, a sign that uh, uh, these three levels of structure, natural structure, social structure, and the technological structure have some uh, 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 elements who can uh, allow us to think that we can mix them and our preoccupation right now should be to develop device or to develop technology who have this ambition, this ethic to mix uh, 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 in a good way, this three level of, uh, 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 of structure, not as a virus, but as a design process who, uh, uh, who is a who, who is profitable for for um, for everybody? Um, and this new design challenge is most a challenge, I think, for uh, uh, the maker space. So uh, what I see things is that you have a new revolution in design, which uh, of which on, only the maker space can. Which only the maker the maker space can uh, can address. Uh, so the ambition that indicates us is to develop policies and innovation processes who who uh, uh, who firmly lock in a in in a strongly uh, entangled technology in the social and the social in the in, in, in the nature. Uh, 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 and. Uh, so what can be the uh, what could be the um, the resources we can use to launch uh, uh, this new idea of design uh, who don't use the old uh, tools of measurement we, we used to 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 use and who led the place to this ambition to 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 put together this three level of 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 uh, complexity and I would like to give um, a sort of uh, uh, um, uh, a sort of uh, indication with this uh, this small uh, animal you all know very well uh, now because I, uh, the pangolin is uh, suspected to having caused the crisis of. Uh, of, of our time. And this uh, uh, anteta is now the most pushed animal uh, in the world, ahead of the elephant, the rhino, and the tiger. Um, and it is threatened with 
uh, a silent ex extinction because it is a very small and inoffensive uh, uh, animals. Uh, uh, Claude Levi Strauss considered that there are animals who are good to eat, and there are other animals who are good to think about. And the pangolin seems to be uh, uh, the, the, the best illustration of this idea because uh, it seems that eating it <laughs> creates all the trouble we face right now. But in a lot of African societies, uh, the pangolin is used for think about the world. And I will give you some, some aspects of the, all the concepts uh, uh, traditional societies in Africa develop by observing uh, 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 the, the, the pangolin. The pangolin teach uh, a lot of traditional societies uh, 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 what uh, in the African uh, spirit we can call uh, 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 a non-split ideal. This idea to have everything together. Because you can see the pangolin as uh, um, an animal at a border. It is an anthropomorphic uh, uh, animal. Uh, it is the only one mammal uh, covered with scales. His tongue is, uh, uh, is longer than his body. And he, he is like, he, he has almost a human uh, 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 attitude. It, it is an aquatic and, and, and celestial and a terrestrial uh, 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 creature. So it is an animal who put together all this the, I don't know how to say it in all the, the, the complexity of the world. And by observing it, uh, people can, uh, can learn about the importance to have, to have all the, the spectral uh, 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 put, uh, put together. The pangolin teach also moral uh, uh, rules because by example, you can, um, Pangolin does not breed in captivity. If, you, if he is in captiv captivity, he lets himself die there. So the, the people uh, learn about not be uh, 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 programming by observing uh, 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 pangolin because its uh, mathematics is only internal. Uh, um, uh, he, and he is radically resistant, resistant to any outside uh, uh, idea of, of, uh, of programming. You have uh, uh, others uh, moral uh, lesson uh, from the, the pangolin. Um, uh, 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 people think that people see is like a, a quality of conscience because they say that pangolin is the only one animal who feel shame because when you discover it, uh, he used to hide his his head and and curls and curls up. But the most important to see is that the pangolin inspire a lot of material production, uh, the tools people use, but also the architecture in Lele uh, population, by example. The, he is also uh, uh, used as concept to uh, to put together the the, the clan. Uh, and they learn a lot of, they have a lot of ritual uh, using the pangolin uh, to, to put, uh, to, to create the cohesion in, in, uh, uh, in the clan. And all this reciprocal system of obligation, we uh, uh, confusedly called Ubuntu uh, 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 right now, is by example, something you can, you can construct by, 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 by just uh, uh, have this animal as the center of, of, the, of your, your system of the world. And that is the fact with all those traditional societies I'm talking about. The pangolin is at the center of a system of the world. So uh, 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 he is seen. So people construct a very solid narrative, a very solid uh, um, uh, uh, vision of what the world should be based on, on, on the pangolin. And it is an animal uh, 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 considered to be the center of the universe, uh, uh, the one who give the civilization to the humans. 
And uh, I'm seeing all this to let you see uh, how, uh, how very uh, surprising is it for us today that an animal who have uh, such a big importance in the, in the symbolic construction of uh, African societies become now uh, a sort of um, uh, uh, a sort of uh, mercantile project uh, African people uh, capture and sell in in a big industrial traffic right now uh, in the world and uh, 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 and analyze that the fact that this uh, um, uh, construction this symbolic construction uh, uh, decline in the, uh, uh, in the in the in the in the in the way African people see the world is at maybe at the source of the crisis we are facing right now is very uh, uh, interesting. So uh, uh, to conclude, what I would like to to say is that what is the function of the the pangolin and all this big narrative people construct by seeing the pangolin, we can call a cosmogony. Uh, the function of, of the cosmogony is to, uh, uh, to, um, to create a very good uh, imbrication between the social structure and the biospherical structure so that any uh, uh, action you, you do as a human is considered to, in his impact, uh, on the all and the, on the global uh, uh, creation. And I think that the, the challenge you have right now and uh, hackerspace, makerspace, et cetera, should face this challenge is to create maybe new cosmogony uh, 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 who can help us to launch new uh, uh, way of designing, new process of designing uh, uh, to have uh, those uh, products or those solutions who articulate not only the social ideally in the, in the nature, but the technique and the technology, uh, the technological logic in the social structure and the social structure itself in, the, in, in our, uh, our environment. And uh, uh, I think it is a uh, uh, a work to do to see how can be the, the process, the workshop, or the, 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 the initiative you can launch to build if you are uh, um, a hacker space, uh, a maker space, a tech hub, your own cosmogony. And maybe the fact that we didn't think about this to have a uh, 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 for each of our uh, uh, projects or each of our uh, ideal, a sort of fictional uh, uh, perspective uh, narration uh, 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 who, uh, who is supposed to be unsurpassable, maybe is at the, 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 the origin of the difficulties we have right now to, to not be coherent in uh, all this uh, uh, ambition we have to develop a uh, solution who, who are very efficient for our, our times. Thank you. Yeah, now you can hear me. Thank you so much for your input. I really appreciate how, yeah, how, you came uh, to this conclusion from um, from a very different uh, point of view, and it was also just lovely learning about our relationship um, with the with the pangolin. Um, I am now going to open the floor for any questions from our audience. There is some some questions shaping up in the in the Miro board, but while those are being typed up, um, I would really love to hear a little bit about um, also your practice so far. I've always been fascinated by how uh, how uh, 
how you know maybe it is because your your background is architecture um but you you always think of um of of communities of cities of um you know of of uh, of different settlements um on different levels as well so i remember that you were telling me once about how um, in the, in one of the technology hubs that you opened up, you actually encouraged people um, who were learning there, um, you know, gaining skills um, to also engage with the with the communities around them. I, don't, I can't remember if it was one or five kilometer radius. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you can inspire people um, to engage uh, with their um, with their environments? Yes, it is a it is a big question. Uh, what uh, maybe I can answer on an aspect, uh, an aspect uh, uh, which is the the low tech ambition. Uh, we all have this low tech, low high tech, high low tech uh, 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 ambition ideal. And if the problem with the low tech is a problem of if, if, if an issue of scale, if you want to develop very efficient low tech, if you are in a big scale, it is very difficult. And so to be efficient in developing what we call low tech, you need to change the scale and create a scale uh, which can be, uh, which, which can facilitate what we call in French the génie du lieu, the, 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 the intelligence, which can help the intelligence to, 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 level, to level up. So uh, it is one, uh, it is an example of uh, the, 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 the idea who push us to very work with the community. If you want to develop low tech, you can develop low tech uh, in your uh, in your lab as an industrial uh, people you need to develop at the scale with with people it's, if not you can have a very good uh, 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 low tech you will be forced to think at the scale of which you will uh, 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 fatally give uh, develop industrial uh, uh, and very high tech uh, uh, solution. Thank you so much. Um, scales, it's also very important, uh, very important point here. And now we have a question from Reem. Yeah. Hi. Thank you for that brilliant, brilliant talk. And as you were talking, the 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 kind of the pessimist in me popped up thinking how do we protect these uh, these ways of knowing and being from being co-opted by the capitalist nature of the innovation space and tech spaces so we know that maker spaces very local very kind of in touch we're over we're we're being pushed through colonized means to be like design thinking, do design thinking. And in other instances, it was like, oh, storytelling is a big part of other cultures. So we'll just bring it in and package it in a process that is one of a capitalist innovation process. So I was just wondering from your experiences, kind of how you've engaged with that and also within the maker spaces, how you're engaging with, with those different pushes. Yes, the, 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 the capitalist uh, uh, logic uh, is, uh, is, uh, fits very well with the modern, um, modern philosophy uh, uh, of the West. Uh, you know, in the, in the West uh, system of the world, the, 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 the philosophy from what in France we call Lumière, Descartes, Bacon, etc., etc. Uh, in this philosophy, you have two uh, ruptures. I don't know if you say ruptures in English. You have two uh, disconnection with the organic way of seeing things. The first one was, was this idea that uh, uh, a human 
is a slave of the nature and to be to really become a human you can you have to 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 abstract yourself from the nature and the second one uh, was a lot in the in the, the aesthetical adventure but uh, a lot also in adam smith and all this uh, idea of uh, the the concurrence uh, everybody in concurrence with everybody is the natural law of the world so you have a first abstraction of the nature and you have a second abstraction uh, of the group to be human you don't have to be in the nature and to be human you have to be isolated and this very interesting adventure of the 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 intelligence give a sort of boulevard to the capitalism because uh, the capitalism use it to uh, produce lot of uh, uh, lot of concepts you can you can really uh, uh, address uh, and tackle because uh, it is based of a, a, an idea of emancipation of the human a human who become uh, civiliz civilized and who become very uh, raffiné because he, he have his interiority etc etc so uh, all we are doing as makers researchers is limited as we didn't tackle the the philosophy itself and that's why i'm i'm working on uh, this idea to see if there is not alternative philosophy in which the human because he is in the group and in the nature is a, a best human and if we 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 win this battle we will it will be more easier to win the battle of production and face the capitalism because this the capitalism will not have any more this background of philosophy uh, uh, intelligentsia etc lovely thank you so much reem also says brilliant i think that you're a lot of the things that you're saying are just so inspiring and so the feedback that is also happening here in Miro is um, one person wrote thank you for raising the importance of um, embedded social ecological ontology um, for critical making uh, might be something that we need to talk about a little bit more and um, <laughs> Another, I'm just going to read this out loud because I think it's very nice. Um, the Sunda slash Malayan pangolin is sometimes sometimes encountered in parks here in Singapore. And the poster had no idea it was seen as the source of humanity and they're never going to be able to see a pangolin the same way again. Thank you for the excellent uh, presentation. Um, right, so would you like to maybe say a few more words um, about this idea and the importance of embedded social ecological ontology um, for making, critical making, um, for dismantling capitalism even? Uh, yes, what, what I used to say is that uh, in, the new techno in the new technological and digital uh, uh, solution we have right now, we don't have uh, uh, complexity. We have complexification. The complexity itself is in the nature and in the social structure as the traditional societies develop, develop them. And uh, uh, if you see the new technology as a source, a magma, uh, uh, they, they fit a lot with the complexity you have in uh, uh, the group and in the nature. So the technology uh, uh, themselves are good. It is the Silicon Valley who, uh, who uh, corrupt them by use them to develop device for the market. And all the, the, the design revolution should be to create new uh, system of value a new uh, uh, indicator for measurement, which can be uh, uh, used not only in the labs in the Silicon Valley, but also in the design school to, um, to let the, the, the technology achieve their potential who 
is to be to fit with social and the nature and not to fit with the with the market because the way the new the new technology of digital works because of all this uh, cursivity this distributivity this uh, 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 um, the way that they don't want to in fact new, the, tech, the the technology the digital technology don't want to the, the performance they don't want the performance they don't want to be the accumulation they fit a lot with what by example in africa we call ubuntu so if you take the, the technology but you don't put them in the the, the a silicon valley lab but you put them in another uh, type of lab to have products uh, uh, ethical product you can you, you, you can achieve the real potential of of new technology Thank you so very much. I think uh, these are thoughts that we will definitely also take into the research in the next two years and we'll be reaching out to you um, to learn about them um, a bit more and uh, yeah, just maybe co-ideate um, a little bit about how we, can, how we can do our practices better as well. Thank you so, so much for Sename. Um, I will let you go now because the, the time is up, but really, really appreciate it. It was a fantastic presentation. Um, thank you so much for, for your thoughts. Uh, and um, right, with that, we would go into our lunch break now, <laughs> um, <laughs> which I think is very timely um, for everyone. I would also recommend that everyone just gets a stretch um, and doesn't uh, stare at a screen. The messages are still coming in how inspiring and thought-provoking the, the presentation was. So <laughs> thank you for that. Um, right, so we will now go on a little break and we will reconvene here at two o'clock. Yes, perfect. Thank you, everyone.